Hello everyone, welcome back to Terra Enigma. We've been looking for star stones, and in the last episode, um, we got our last one from Neo Tokyo. From this girl who was being chased by a lion, but it wasn't just any lion, it was our buddy, uh, Liam. He came back, and he was chasing her, but once he saw us, he wised up and he's like, Oh wait, I don't want to attack this human anymore. Um, so we got that, now we gotta get out of these sewers, and then we're gonna have to actually use these, um, star stones. So, that's pretty cool, I guess. But I'm just kind of cruising along, just to... God damn it, stop it. Just kind of cruising along, hoping to get some money and um, extra experience, because it doesn't hurt to have extra experience. There we go. But yeah, this, um... These events are kind of easy. It was kind of easy to get these all-powerful stones. Um, I heard that this, I think it was this area right here, this particular area was a really easy place for experience grinds. And I do not deny that, because there's like five enemies here, and it looks like it would be like really, really quick to get a ton of experience in a really short period of time. Especially if I just do the uh, charge dash. So maybe one day I will come back here and then we will grind out some levels. Doubt it at the moment, but it might be useful. It's not like we have another Bloody Mary scenario going on. Alright, now we're back. Back up top. Hills, yeah. Everyone's still dead, unfortunately. Or disappeared, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Sucks that she's like the only one who's, um, alive. Uh, anyways, you're probably wondering where the hell we have to go in order to do all our star stone magic stuff. Well, we've been there before. <laughs> we've been to a lot of places before. It's kind of crazy how, uh, we seem to be running in circles in this game. Well, we're heading straight to our Antarctica again. Because there is something for us here. Something that we didn't know was here, but we know it's here now. Especially after looking at some guy that I randomly found at GameFAQs that I'm following, so I don't miss anything. Or I don't get lost for like 20 episodes in a row, because that's really easy to do. Especially in this game, good lord. Game doesn't explain things to you, but... it's How the hell did I get down here again? It's rocks, rocks, ugh, all these rocks. Maybe here? Yeah, there you go. So we're here. This is Dry Vale. We've been here before. There were um, these stone patterns, or these skulls. Looks like an altar of some sort. Gee, I wonder what we could do here. Maybe if we equip our star stones and use them on said altar, we might be able to do something with them. Hmm. Yeah, I had no idea this was going to be what we would do with them. I mean, maybe if we went to Lhasa, he would have told us that there was some place on the world that has, like, some kind of altar. Alright, so what's this? Oh no, it's a purple square. Hey, it's a soul. Wow, we haven't seen a soul in forever. Sounded exactly like Ryu. You survived countless encounters with dangers. However, Injured you were in fighting, you never did die. Do you know why? It is because you are the legendary hero. Legendary hero, I represent the light side. And you represent the dark side. People are said to meet someone identical to them once they are once in a lifetime. There are two Ryus in the internal and external worlds. And the reemergence of Varuga has disturbed Earth's balance. If Earth's history is likened to a clock, the hour hand points to 13. What? A time that cannot exist. No, a time that must not exist. Now close your eyes and think deeply about Earth.
I'm passed out again. With the game over music? Did he, did I purposely die? Hmm. Chapter four. Oh shit. Resurrection of the hero. Oh man. Wonder what this is gonna mean. So, okay, maybe I'm guessing that maybe both the light side and the dark side get put together. Are we a baby? Looks like we're a baby. Why are we a baby? Snivel. Sniff, snivel. Sniff. We are a baby. The hell? So we died and now we just got reborn? God, this game's so trippy. Oh dear, you're awake. I wonder how much time has passed since I began living with you. I was shocked when I found you crying in the field of Stockholm. You resem had so much resemblance to a person I know. So I ended up giving you the name, same name, Ryu. You must be hungry, I'll fetch some food. This is weird, man. Just say it. How long before we grow up? Wait a minute. Her hair color changed. Now, Ellie, kill him. Do not hesitate. What? That is why you were sent from Krista to the outside. Now that babe is powerless. Hurry. See how she's being controlled. But it's the... It's, uh... Krista L. Uh oh. And then outside version of L. Ryu? Ryu, what's the matter? I mean, you could see that there isn't a baby there. Strange, a baby can't just walk away. Ryu, you learned how to walk? <laughs> Ryu, where are you? <laughs> ah. uh, wait, I'm in the dungeon? L, stop hesitating. Kill that babe now. No. Bad. Don't kill the baby. Ryu, forgive me. Pardon me? What are what are you doing? Oh, snap. It's a... It's a... It's a recolor face-off. Who... Who are you? You have my exact same face. Who are you? What are you doing to that baby? Oh, what? Yomi's gonna talk to people? Well, well, quite an interesting guest. Ellie, dispose of this girl, too. What? Yomi is doing stuff. What? Ryu. Ryu, Ryu, wake up. Wake up. Please wake up. It's me, Amario. Kumari, I am, am I reaching you? I'm sorry, I had to take advantage of these long pauses. All the living things in the world await you. You're awakening. If I awaken, do I grow up, or am I in the rest of the game as a baby? I already know the answer to this. Now listen carefully, I am Ra, can you hear me? Ra as in the god of life. Ryu. The earth is screaming. Like you saved- oh, it's the tree! Save me from the poison, please save this planet. We're breaking the cycle, I am Liam, is my voice re reaching you? Oh, they're all talking to me, the world is gone wrong. The animals have remained 
the same, but humans alone changed. Like you gave me courage, please give courage to the world. I am Keen Bird. The sky is crying. And the tears are filthy. If we can fly clear skies, we need not nothing more. Kumari, have you heard all their voices? You can no longer converse with such living things, but they are with you. Ryu, I will say this again. All the living things in the world await your awakening. I wish I could talk to the animals and plants again. They're my friends. It was a little late, Yomi, but uh, I think I'm awake now. Oh no, I'm evolving. <laughs> it's in the same form I was last time. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Tsk, so he's awoken. The representative of light and dark spoken of the hero is here. I was ordered by the Elder of Krista. When Ryu resurrected Baruga, kill him. So I bided my time. I thought you would find the hero Ryu. I was right. When I kill you now, nothing can stop us. By the hand of the Elder named Dark Gaia, the Earth shall be reborn. Dark Gaia? That's right. Humans call him the devil, I believe. Now Ellie, kill him! At least Ryu won't have the courage to kill his friend. Nah. She's like peacing out. Sorry, Yomi, you're an idiot. Hey, snap out of it. What's the matter with you? Uh, it kind of messed with her, I guess. I wanted to see you all this time. I never forgot about you. But I never knew we would meet again like this with you, like just freshly growing up as a baby and all that. I was ordered to kill someone on the surface and endangering Krista? I had no idea that it would be you, Ryu. Ack, useless thing. Enough, I shall kill him. You can't kill me. Yomi, what are you saying? We traveled so long together. Ryu, you still don't understand, do you? You were just used, Ryu. You were a piece in a game. I'm sorry, but goodbye forever. The Elder's wor word is absolute. Yomi set off an earthquake. Ryu is immobilized. Now how shall I... Now how shall I do you? Stop. The way people have two sides, light and dark, need each other. Yomi, we must disappear. Let me go. I cannot disobey the Elder. Ryu, please save the people of the surface world. The surface is so beautiful. People will treat this world carefully. Oh, what are you doing? Stop. Oh, what? She's casting some magic? Ryu. I wanted to be with you forever. Oh, no. Sacrifice. Goodbye. Ryu. Or maybe she teleported. I don't know. L did nothing wrong. Why did this happen? If I didn't open Pandora's box that day, would it have remained peaceful? I don't understand this external and internal thing. It doesn't matter, does it? It's good enough to live happily with the people precious to you. 
What happened to my carefree days in Krista? Somebody give these days back. What should I do? After seeing that, I don't know what I should say to you, Ryu. Don't worry. Talk to me the way you would na normally. The other L may be gone. But won't I do? Can't I ever replace L from the underworld? Mm, that's weird. My feelings? Hmm. Well, that's a uh, pivotal decision. Does this change anything? Let's just say... We've had more developed time with the surface L. Hmm, but... There's the underworld one. I lived for a long time with L and Krista. I have many memories of us together in my heart. That L just sacrificed herself to save me. I'm about to say, I was like, I'm sorry, but I can't think of another person right now. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's like, it's, she just like sacrificed herself. I have something to tell you. This village had this old saying, one day a hero will visit. He will create a miracle and defeat the dark foe. And that hero was you. In this box, there are arms of the hero. I think they were discovered by Columbus on his voyage. He hid them to ensure that they would, they do not fall in the wrong hands. In other words, the villagers were the keepers of the mythical arms. They are why this village was destroyed and Columbus was tortured. The souls of the villagers have become wolves to protect the arms. Arms protected by the blood of many. Only you could use them, Ryu. So it's another Pandora's box thing. So let's open it. Watch me get like a second Yomi or something. Oh god, I was right. Yawn, so the hero has finally emerged. I'm so tired of waiting. All my body has gone slack. Oh no need to tell me. I know you're the true hero. Ryo, this animal tried to kill you earlier. Don't be silly. That was the Yomi from inside. I'm this world's Yomi. Hey, we don't have time to chit-chat. We have to take these hero arms and defeat Baruga. And while we talk, a city somewhere could be dying. Ryo obtained the hero pike. What else we get? Do we get an armor too? That would be neat. Hero armor. Oh. Oh yeah, baby. I will await your return forever here. When everything is done, please come back here. Alright, so let's take a look at our new gear real quick. Because, um, uh, I wasn't expecting that. 22. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> and then the hero armor is 38. I didn't even see if the weapon actually did anything real quick. Wow, we just like grew in immense strength. All right, so I think we're gonna leave things off here. Um, this was a very pivotal episode. A lot of things happened. The dark, the inside Yomi turned out to be super evil. Uh, Ellie was being used. She sacrificed herself though because she wanted to save me. And now we got a new Yomi and a new box and some new weapons, and now we can take on Baruga, but I don't think that's what we're gonna do next, but we will figure out what we're gonna do next soon. So uh, leave me a like, leave me a comment if you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification if you haven't yet. Uh, so as always, this is Rikuroku. Thumbs up, I'll catch you guys absolutely later.